Lisa Grace here from wakingupinparis.com. I just did a, well, I attempted to do a live video over on my business page and I completely stuffed it up. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was so bad. So you know what? I'm going to try again with you guys. <laughs> and I've got like a jackhammer next door, like banging. So I'm hoping that you can't hear it because it's really distracting. But I'm going to try much harder to focus this time. Hi, guys. Hi, Dan. Oh, my mum. My mum always shows up. Hi, Jolene. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Well, let's try again. So... Last week, I talked to you guys about something that I like to call my stage strategy. Um, so if you are in a little bit of an entrepreneur style rut, um, if you work from home and you find it much easier to just throw on the clothes that you wore yesterday or, you know, you just stay in your pyjamas, which I've definitely done before, then this is the movie for you. Um, yes. So how do you feel when you do that? It kind of feels crap, doesn't it? Like you kind of feel like lazy and sloppy and dirty and stinky. <laughs> so let's try and figure out a way how we can fix that without all this pressure of having to look like 100% glamorous on fabulous every minute of the day. That is not how it needs to be. So I had an amazing response last week to my um my strategy, which I'll talk to you about in a minute, but um, I just want to be able to flesh that out a little bit more and just talk to you about ways that you can use that throughout your business. Um, so yes, we want to figure out how you can show not only your front stage to your audience, but also your backstage and your off stage. And I want to talk to you about how you can be very strategic about that and really intentional, but in a way that feels really good to you and that sits just well with who you are, um, that definitely works with the message of your brand, but just feels good in your heart, right? So give me heart. I wish I could like do the touch screen thing where I could give you guys hearts too. I love hearts. Hi guys, hi Bill. <laughs> How are you? Alrighty, so I had this client uh, at the start of this year and she was just in just kind of a really bad star rut, which I think many of us are. Um, so she just had her third baby. She gained weight. She was exhausted because she wasn't getting sleep. Um, she was feeling really uninspired. But amongst all of those things, she was definitely at a stage where she was ready to make a change. Um, but I realized one of the blocks for her was that I think a lot of us feel like it's kind of all or nothing. Like we have to be completely stylish and fabulous all the time or we kind of just give up because it's just too hard, right? So tell me in the comments if that's how you guys have felt. Say, yep, get it? <laughs> yep, I get it. Um, I totally get it. I've definitely been through times when I've felt that way too. But... Um, I want to be able to teach you another way where it doesn't feel overwhelming, where you can still be completely yourself, where you don't have to be like this, you know, super stylish human that feels just completely unreachable. Um, and the other thing I just wanted to let you know is that I've created this really cool new video training, which I've done all the slides for, but I still need to record it once the stupid bloody jackhammering stops <laughs> but I plan on doing that tonight so if you girls would like to get your hands on that video training that is specifically how to connect like just the depth of who you are with the message that you're sharing uh, in the world through your business so if you want to be able to figure out how to connect and marry those two things um, and just create a style that you just love um, that's completely you and your brand then I want you to pop gift in the chat box okay so pop the word gift and then I will circle back with you and once I've um, recorded that video. You're going to be the first one to get it. Now, this is the first time I've ever done this training outside of my Brand Yourself Beautiful program. So pop it in the chat if you want to get your hands on it, okay? Now, I just want to talk to you quickly about how I developed my 
stage strategy for when it comes to getting dressed. And I chatted about this a little bit, uh, a lot last week actually, but I just wanna just touch on it now just so we've got context in case you didn't see last week's video. So basically this is a strategy that was inspired by Michael Hyatt, who I love. He is a leadership mentor um, and I'm, I'm sure most of you have heard of him. So he has a product called the Full Focus Planner. I'm sure some of you guys would have this, but I am completely obsessed with this. I love that I can write my stuff. I love that it gets me off the computer, which I'm a huge advocate of, using our hands and using our creativity and using like just um, being able to force our mind into a different state other than like editing and perfecting on the computer. Um, but anyway, with when you get this, uh, planner, you also get a collection of short videos that just teach you um, how to use the planner. And one of the things that Michael Hyatt gets you to do, let me see, if I, can you guys see this? Okay, so basically you have, on each day, you have to either say that you are having a front stage day, a back stage day, or an off stage day. So I'm front stage today, clearly. Um, so basically the idea of that is to separate your week into each one of those days so that you can be 100% focused on whatever stage you're on at that particular time. So um, for me, I have front stage, which I do Wednesdays, Thursdays and Fridays. So that for me is doing Facebook Lives. It is having meetings with one-on-one -on -one clients. It's doing presentations and webinars. It's doing, you know, a photo shoot or a video shoot. So this is all my front stage time, okay? Um, when I dress for front stage time, I'm very, you know, I want to look very well put together. Hopefully, this is really embarrassing saying this, by the way. <laughs> um, yeah, so so I, I boost my personal style a little bit and my brand. Um, I've always done my hair. I've got a full face of makeup, which I, I don't on my other days. Um, yeah, and it's just a time where I'm uh, trying to communicate something to my audience through the way that I dress. Um, and then for me, my backstage days are Mondays and Tuesdays, so they are my active wear days, all right? So they are days when I am preparing content. They're the days when I'm preparing to do the things that um, I'm paid to do. So I'm doing blog posts or I'm, you know, answering email and Slack messages or I'm creating content for my programs. Um, yeah, so for me, I just want to be comfortable. Um, I want to feel fit and healthy and energized. And that's what helps me the most uh, when I want to get a lot done, you know, so that helps me be really productive. Now, that's not the case for everybody. So your wardrobe for backstage could be very different. Um, I think backstage time is very much about productivity. So whatever helps you do that, that's what your backstage wardrobe should be. Now, off stage for me, again, is very, very different. Um, you know, I'm on the beach with my kitties. I am going to the cafes. I'm going up to the park. I'm jumping on the boat. Like, these are all things that are very different. And so my wardrobe is very different. So that's when I am not working. It's my family, uh, my time with my family, my friends. It's my leisure time, my off time. And I'm trying very hard not to think about work which is kind of hard sometimes because I love my work and it kind of overlaps sometimes, but that's the intention. Um, now, uh, basically the idea of being able to break up these three wardrobes is to take the pressure off yourself that you don't have to be this one fabulous thing all the time. Um, and it's also to be able to segment the intention of each of those things, right? Now, I think as business women, it's important for us to be able to um, show all three facets of our business um, so that we are real, that we are relatable, that we are just that, that we are presenting ourselves as a complete person, you know, that it's not just one facet, you know, it's not just my perfectly polished 
uh, self that you're seeing all the time, which most of you know I'm definitely not perfectly polished um, much of the time. <laughs> um, now, there is a book by Austin Cleon, which I love, and it's called Show Your Work. So um, the way he writes about this is super encouraging, and I really uh, recommend that book to you. But it's the same thing. Like, we want to be able to show the mess and the mistakes and the less polished us. We want to be able to show our backstage, so the tools of our trade, of our work. Um, you know, we want to be able to show, uh, Taki Moore re refers to it as our, our lair, you know, like with superheroes, like they had their lair. So what is your lair? Like you're seeing my lair at the moment. We only just moved. So my lair ain't quite the way I would like it to be right now. But um, these are the things like that we're wanting to show. So you're wanting to show all these, different areas of your work and your style too. So uh, that is the stuff that makes you unique. Um, it makes you real. Uh, but the one thing you want to make sure of is that intentionally show them your messy top bun, which I have at least four days of the week, intentionally. Show them your dress with the baby puke all over it, intentionally, okay? Show them the red lippy that you get on your one bung tooth intentionally. Like, seriously, I have this one tooth. I had braces when I was little and my teeth were like, I worked so hard for my nice straight teeth. But this one tooth like sticks out and I tell you nine times out of ten, I get off a video and I've got like lippy all over that one tooth. It is so annoying. <laughs> So there you go. There's my messy, there's my fault, lippy on my bung teeth. Um, so the other thing that you want to think about is what your intentions are for each one of these wardrobes. So I love the idea of picking three adjectives to go with each of your wardrobes so that you've got that intention really uh, solidly in your mind when you're getting dressed each morning. All right. Um, hello, Carrie. Oh my gosh. Carrie's like my style bosom buddy. I love you, girlfriend. Hi, Velma. Hi, Lisa. And my mama. I love having my mama on here. <laughs> I think that makes me nervous, actually. She makes me more nervous. Anyway, so I want you to pick three adjectives that go with each one of these wardrobes, okay? So for me, my front stage wardrobe, my adjectives are confident, I want to be confident, I want to feel beautiful, and I want to be enticing. Is it working? Am I enticing? <laughs> um, and then for my backstage wardrobe, my words are productive, that's like my number one, comfortable, and healthy, like they're my three words. That's my intention when it comes to my backstage wardrobe. And then my offstage wardrobe, my words are relaxed, okay, because it's my off time. Uh, free, I want to feel free and I want to feel adventurous. Like I want to go and do fun stuff, all right, and I want my clothes to reflect that. I want to go do, you know, fun stuff with my kids and my hubby. So, yeah, so they're my words. So what is your intention for each one of these wardrobes and how can you use each one of these wardrobes to support that intention okay now I just let you guys know at the start that I am kind of nearly finished creating you guys a new training video which teaches you how to connect who you are the heart the deepest heart of who you are the deepest part of your beauty with the um, absolutely beautiful, crucial message of your brand and business. So I'm teaching you how to connect that and then to translate that into a style that you love, okay? And that can be used, that is designed around your front stage wardrobe, but you can use the same system um, for your backstage wardrobe and your offstage wardrobe too. So if you guys would like to get your hands on that, once the um, jackhammering next door stops, I'm going to be recording that. Um, so hopefully I'll be doing that this afternoon if all goes to plan. Um, so just pop in the comments, gift, all right, gift. Um, pop that in the comments and then I will be sure to circle back with you and you guys will be the first ones to get your hands on this amazing.
amazing training video. All right. Um, now, I am going to be doing Facebook Lives on Wednesdays and Thursdays. Sometimes I'll be doing, um, sorry, Wednesdays and Fridays and sometimes on Thursdays too. So my intention is to be doing it at 9 a.m. my time. So I think that's 7 p.m. New York time. Um, yes. Yeah. So make sure you pop the little notifications on in the top right corner, okay, if you want to be uh, watching my very fun live videos. <laughs> Alrighty, girl. Well, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in a couple of days on Friday when I, I do my next live. And remember, pop the word yes into the chat box if you want me to get this uh, training video. Alrighty, girl. Bye-bye.